are calling the, fa the faithful to matins to morning prayer, or you could just be like us and say grace before every meal. It's breakfast time, and uh, breakfast is kind of late around these parts because the sun doesn't come up till after 7.30. <laughs> Hallelujah, we can sleep in. So uh, one of the things I missed uh, about living in the United States was having readable, I mean, readily available, new word, readable, uh, reading material to read with my breakfast cereal, or in this case, coffee. I just have a new frother, and the reason I have a frother, this is this is my justification, because the froth keeps my uh, coffee warm, so I don't have to go inside and out to put it in the microwave to reheat it. But um, we are in this beautiful garden. Uh, as you can see, I have the table set up for breakfast. My husband goes out in the morning, or if we're out in the plaza at night, we hail over uh, somebody who's selling uh, sweet bread, and the table here is the bottom half of, <laughs> of our dog crate. And I'm giving it this last salute because our friend um, Mark O'Neill is gonna be taking it um, in his house while um, while we're um, in the Yucatan and San Miguel de Allende. Am I name dropping? Yes, I am. There's the other half there. These things come in handy because they can cover big bumps that you could trip over. Um, also, as you see, I've got it partly underneath the tree because these are avocado trees and they fall like Bombs. I turn my head whenever they go plop or they go boom. So um, I've showed you the garden before, or maybe I haven't, but uh, this right here, with this rock with the little waterfall and the little island, contains two toidles, a little toidle island. Um, but what do I? When, but when I see it, you know what I think? Zika virus. And then you go over here. Here's our walkway. Our little dog has a fractured leg and she's taking advantage of the American Disability Act and this ramp was put in before us. So this is how she clambers up and down our beautiful yard. And then over here, as you can see, I've also got it set up for, um, this was not their idea, but you know, the hazard of the avocados. Okay, you got me there. Also for breakfast, um, the sun moves and I always move with the sun. And here's a fountain and my routine every morning is to put it on. But what do I think of when I see this fountain? Not the beautiful height, not the artistry that led to this beautiful natural garden, not the sound that covers up the buses and the trucks going over the cartera, which is right the street right above us. Once again, Zika virus. So what I uh, also am going to dedicate, watch the steps early. This morning reading material is not only to the do's and don'ts of my frother, but my Dynatrap. I was, uh, I'm, I'm, okay, my name is Jet. I'm addicted to QVC. I was watching it one morning when it wasn't a fashion show, and they brought this device on. This is going to save us from the bane of our existence. See this? Mosquito bites. We go into restaurants, they ask us for what we'd like to eat. Customer, what, what would you like for your dinner? And then they come out with uh, spray bottles of mosquito repellent because we usually like to eat outside. So um, I'm gonna show you what's like, what it's like inside later on, but basically the theory is mosquitoes are attracted to three things, light, heat, carbon dioxide. This has an element in there that attracts them. You put it not where you're sitting, but a few feet away. And then there's a fan, and this fan, after it's attracted by the light, heat, and scent, it draws them in by centrifugal force, and then it traps them down below in this cage where they die a horrible death of des uh, uh, desiccation. So, how does it work? Once they're, they're dying, they can't go out and reproduce, and they can only reproduce within a certain amount of feet. So, tonight we're going to have this set up, and we'll see in days to come if we are spared. The awful sting and the terrible potential of uh, mosquito-borne illnesses. Okay, on that dire threat, I'll see you again.